So it's been a very Sonic filled week as we've gotten a lot of news for Sonic Superstars and a few various other things like Sonic Origins as well and even Sonic news for the movie. Christopher Lloyd's gonna be in the Sonic universe now. If you don't know who that is, that's Doc Brown from Back to the Future. But there's so much new crazy news that has come out due to interviews with Takashi Azuka, who is the head of Sonic Team. So we're gonna get right into this news. Hey, hold up a minute. 75% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So why don't you consider subscribing if you've been enjoying the content? You may be like, hey, this might be too early in the video. But 43,000 of you guys keep coming back to these videos. So I'm talking to you. Why don't you hit the subscribe button? Thanks guys. So this information comes from Shaq News and they're obviously reliable. They had featured Sonic Frontiers content before the game was out through Sega, of course. So they are a reliable source. But the news that comes from them reads like this. After the release of Sonic Superstars, the studio will continue to develop the modern and classic formulas separately, giving each of these subseries their own projects. And to me, overall, this is a good thing. I like having both the classic and the modern 3D games. Keeping them separate is exactly what they need to focus on because they're never going to get rid of the classic Sonic style because it's so iconic. It still beats out the modern Sonic style to this day. Even though in my own personal opinion, Sonic is Sonic. I don't care if he looks classic, I don't care if he looks modern, Sonic is Sonic. And to me personally, that's how it should be, but that's not how Sega treats it, and that's not how a lot of people look at it. So you kind of just have to roll with it, but I still enjoy both styles almost equally. I have Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Mania and Sonic 3 in part of my top 5. But anyways, let's move on to the next one. We want to make sure that what we do for games like Sonic Frontiers will be different from what we do in Sonic Superstars and vice versa. That kind of adds on to his point of keeping classic Sonic classic and modern Sonic modern, etc. So let's move on to the next line. In the early stages of conceptualizing the new classic game, they consider replacing the sprite pixel graphics with fully drawn frame by frame animation. But the team felt the 3D format would better preserve and convey many of the classic aspects that are important to the feel of this format. You know, I actually have to disagree with Azuka here. I think that hand-drawn animation would have been so cool to see. They should have honestly done something like that. Now, I'm not saying I hate the current look of Sonic Superstars, but frame-by-frame -frame animation would have been so cool for a Sonic game. And then the zones available in the demo are called Bridge Island Zone and Speed Jungle Zone. Uh, not too crazy cool names, but you know, something simple. But here's the part that everyone's been waiting for. Shadow will not appear in Sonic Superstars. Azuka urged all fans of the character to wait for the third movie to see him in action, and confirmed that the studio has plans for a game featuring him. And this article specifies without specifying whether it's about an appearance in a new installment or a full spinoff, but still, regardless, they kind of highlighted Shadow as having a prominent role in a new Sonic game again. Yeah, he had his DLC in Forces, but I still wouldn't say that was prominent and he was kind of more of so just a Sonic skin swap again. Next time we get Shadow playable, he needs to be more of kind of Sonic 06 Shadow, where he had more unique features about him that made him different from Sonic. But I feel like the reason they're actually saying this or doing this for Shadow is because he's gonna have a prominent role in the upcoming Sonic Hedgehog 3 movie, so he's gonna be a big deal again. People are gonna be talking about Shadow quite a lot, and if they do him correctly, it could be an internet icon. And because of that, I can see them probably wanting to get ahead of the curve and capitalize by putting Shadow on marketing and put him as a prominent figure in a Sonic game again. And this is kind of exciting news because Shadow has taken a back seat over the last few years, honestly, actually more than that, the last 10 years. Shadow has never really done that much in this franchise when it comes to being playable in these games. I feel like he made the most sense in Sonic 06 and Sonic Adventure 2 and everything else Shadow has just kind of been there. Well, except heroes, I'll count heroes as well. But I think this is overall a pretty big deal. So moving on from that, it says right now, the team is focusing on presenting a good game and all of its content released in a presentable state. Azuka isn't ready to talk about DLC or things like that for Sonic Superstars. And then here comes another big one. When asked about a potential remake of Sonic Adventure 2, Azuka said that although he loves that part, right now he and the studio want to create new things and ideas like Frontiers and Superstars rather than focusing on old ones. And honestly, that's respectable. We'll probably never get those Sonic Adventure remakes from being honest. But as long as they just keep making good games, I won't mind. Sonic Adventure 2 is not going anywhere. And I don't want them to make it worse. So I think that it's fine. 
But yeah, that's the news for today. New Shadow game probably coming. Maybe not new Shadow game, but a Shadow focused game. It sounds like Sega has a lot planned for Sonic. Think about it like this. Once Superstars has come out, that means we have received three Sonic games within a year, which is honestly unheard of. And I'm sure that they're already going to be working on the next Sonic game. And of course, we have the Frontiers DLC that's still happening. We don't have any news on the next update just yet, but there's just a lot going on with Sonic, and I'm just happy to see it. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And like always, I'll see you in the next one. Oh well, whatever happens, happens. <laughs>